Welcome back again and let's talk about USB miners and why I think they are actually the real future of decentralized mining. And when I talk about USB miners, I don't think USB miners like these ones, like those Gecko signs or AC block adapters that are specifically made only for USB mining like an ASIC machine and they can do only like Bitcoin or Litecoin or something like that. Because if you look more specifically at those miners and for example this Gecko Science, you can see that it only does 15 giga hashes per second in mining Bitcoin. And 15 giga hashes per second with Bitcoin mining is so low that one S9 miner can do almost 1000 times more mining than this Gecko Science 2 miner. And the other one, this block eruptor miner, can only do 330 mega hashes per second, which is even lower than the first one. And Litecoin also has its own USB miners, like this Moonlander 2, and this Moonlander 2 can only do 4 mega hashes per second with Litecoin mining. For, and for example, something like L3 Plus miner can do more than 500 mega hashes per second. So those USB miners are not profitable and you can only make about one or two or even up to like five dollars per year with mining with one of those USB miners. And they cost up to one hundred dollars and if you buy one of those miners you cannot expect to make that money back. You can buy them just for fun and just to see how mining works if you never did it but for a one hundred dollars you can buy uh, some old used GPU maybe and start mining with that by using nice hash and mining altcoins directly. And you will also be paid in Bitcoin like with mining with those USB miners but you will actually make few dollars per month compared to few dollars per year. And when I say future of USB miners, I think even smaller miners than those specifically made USB miners, something like incredibly small chips that will be in every device all around you. And this will be really useful when Internet of Things comes up and you have every single device connected to Internet and using that Internet connection. And I believe that some of the coins that will have the biggest amount of usefulness from this Internet of Things thing and from all of that unused Internet bandwidth is Gladius token. And let's say that you have a router that can do 100 megabits per second upload speed. And you're not using that 100 megabits per upload all the time. And maybe you're using it for work and for watching YouTube videos, but you cannot use that 100 megabits all the time to its maximum. And let's say that you even do, that you use it 8 hours per day, maybe you are streaming in some Ultra HD quality or something like that, but you cannot stream 24 hours per day. And let's say that you stream 8 hours per day, so you still have 16 hours of unused internet connection. And if you would have that small chip, let's call it a USB mining chip, and that chip could connect to a pool for 16 hours per day, by using your 100 megabits connection per second and you would actually make $10.55 per day just from your unused internet connection and by you not doing actually anything. It would all be automatic and hopefully you would make some of that money. And that router could maybe cost $100 or $1,000 more but you would pay it off really, really fast. Even if it cost $1,000 more, you would make that money back in 100 days if those calculations on Gladius Network website are correct. And even if you would be getting only half of that, and half of that would go to the router maker, you would still pay that router back in 200 days. But this is not where the fun stops. If Internet of Things really becomes the reality and even your fridge or your microwave and everything will be connected to the internet, imagine if your fridge for example that will be connected to the internet to order the food that you run out of will also have like a, like a little mining chip. And for example if, you're, if you are not using that fridge for some time and it doesn't have to use electricity to cool itself down 
and you don't have maybe any food in it it would still be able to mine bitcoin or some other coins for example and you would maybe be paid for that and you would maybe not get paid for that you will have to really wait and see how that happens because if your fridge doesn't have to use that electricity to cool your food and it is connected to the socket why it wouldn't just pull maybe like two or three watts of electricity to do simple mining and maybe your smartphones will be the first one to start mining and you will probably not even notice them mining they might have some dedicated little chip in them that will start mining whenever your battery is for example at 100% and you are still charging your phone overnight and why would it just waste that electricity if you're charging your phone and your phone is at 100% why it wouldn't just mine with that excess of electricity it will only be like few watts and you won't even notice that on your bill but imagine something like if Samsung or Apple would do that they have millions and millions of phones even up to 100 million phones active in the world and if maybe some of those phones would make one or two dollars even just per year they would actually make hundreds of millions of dollars per year and those chips those mining chips could maybe cost only like 10 cents to make and your phone will probably last for more than a year maybe like two or three years depending on how often do you change your phones and even if you change your phones every year you just don't throw them in the trash you sell them to somebody else and that person sells them to somebody else and phones can last like five or even ten years and imagine if that phone could continue to mine for up to ten years and even if that phone would just make twenty or thirty dollars in that lifetime while the chip would cost them ten cents they would be incredibly rich and this is why I think USB mining will become like this with small mining chip in every single device around you with every single device that is connected to the internet and you will be mining without even knowing it so thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about this video and about this idea of the biggest decentralized mining without people even knowing it and see you soon in another video bye